Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and a very happy early Halloween in July to you all. Today, we got another NECA Toys video, of which we're going to be checking out the semi-sort of wave two of their Ben Cooper Halloween Mask Kids action figure line. I love the boxes. I love the artwork. I kept the boxes from the first wave, but... We now have Vampire Boy, and then we have Witch Girl to add to all those little Halloween miscreants. This is going to be number seven in the line for the Vampire Boy. You get to see all the characters on the backside, including some new ones like a second devil, a phantom, and then, of course, a vampire girl. So I look forward to grabbing those. Here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. I picked mine up from Walmart from that new bloody disgusting team up with Negatoys, and you can head over to the entertainment section at the back of the store and hopefully grab yourself one. They're not exclusive. They're just first to market at Walmart. Of course, we also have the Witch Girl. She is going to be figure number 10 in the collection. Here's the barcode for her, like I said, if you want these now, head out to Walmart and I'll put links down in the description below. Perhaps you can grab them on the website. As I previously stated, I've kept the boxes. I like these. They go into my Halloween bins. I'm going to pull these out for Halloween. This will be my Halloween decor, a little shelf in the house. But as you can see, one through 10, although we're missing a few numbers, that's where a couple of those new figures will, of course, fill in those gaps. And I will say, if you're a fan of these figures, SDCC is right around the corner, and I'm sure we're going to see some uh, cool new toys. But as usual, this is sure to be a spooktacular treat. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA toys. They're Ben Cooper Halloween Mask Kids, the Dracula Boy, and the Witch Girl Trick or Treat. So we'll keep this relatively quick. This will be a fast video in case you're at the store. Maybe you want to watch a little quick vid, see if these are any good. If you are a fan of these, you're going to like these. These are exactly the same as prior. Vampire Boy comes with the same sort of styled jack-o'-lantern, trick-or-treat, buckets. It's the exact same as we've seen in Wave 1. Yes, the handle can come off if you so choose, but... I love it. It's just perfection of the old school Halloween, as is this vampire boy. I like the mask. I like the colors. His smock costume is very cool. But as simplistic as they are, just action figure perfection. If these be your type of toys and then also sort of Halloween decor. I love the graphic. Of course, that's what Dracula would wear. He would also be exclaiming Dracula. It's a red costume largely. It's got Velcro. Of course, all of these are removable if you want, but why? Why? No. This kid is rocking a red and tan shoe. Everything's painted nicely. You can get the white laces. If you are wondering, yes, he has peg holes on the bottom. Very basic articulation, double jointed elbows, enough articulation to just have them stand on your shelf. If you're looking for action figures that you can really pose out in all kinds of crazy positions, I wouldn't do that with these. Wouldn't recommend it. The material as We'll say sound as it is and as good as it looks, I wouldn't overstretch it by any means. You don't want to go that route. Having them hold their pail, their trick-or-treat bag on your shelf, definitely the way to go. These figures all have a bit of a tighter grip. It's not that really flexible plastic, so maybe heat up the hands before installing some of the accessories, just as a heads up. But... It's a darn good looking vampire. Now on the flip side, Witch Girl comes with a brown bagged trick or treat bag and it's exactly that. It is paper. It works well, it looks good. It's very much a DIY sort of style that fits with these costume kids, but I would totally prefer a plastic bag that looks like a brown bag. That would just be my preference. The actual Witch Girl herself looks great with all the colors on her mask and she's got the pigtails and it's gonna be Pretty much the little girl that wore the creature mask from wave one, now she has a witch mask. So again, they just kind of reuse the kid bodies and then they put a different mask. The masks are not removable, but as I learned, you can pull the heads off. I don't think it was as easy as wave one, which is a good thing if you want to swap head portraits, but 
The hands do not come out. Might have to heat those up, but I would not yank them out. And I like the graphic on the smock. You have the witch with the cauldron, very much old school Halloween, spiders, blue shoes, peg holes, all black costume on the back. It's just another great standout from this line. I love the old school nature that these bring about. It's very much a love letter to all those old Ben Cooper costumes and Negatoys has done it so well. Now, Candy, you say? Well, I did bring up in my first video, we need candy. Well, you can do it yourself. So I'll put links down in the description below. You can head over to Amazon and they have these Sugar Buzz Mini and Minis candies this is by Super Impulse. It's a blind bag situation, but they do have various real candies that are very teeny tiny as such. So if you wanna do bubble yum, and I just think that this is your best bets as far as adding candies to these Halloween trick-or-treaters. So multiple different candies you can grab, but the best part is that yes, they fit into the Halloween buckets. And if you so choose, they can hold the candies. Now, like I said, the hands are a little bit tight. You may have to heat them up to fit said candies into said hands but they display well holding the candies. What about extra accessories? Like to get kind of sinister or get uh, horror movie-ish, right? Well, Super Action Stuff has a lot of those accessories, which again, I'll put links down in the description below. You can grab their Casket of Cruelty, as the name suggests, what kind of weapons are in that. And then you have their Game On Super Action Stuff, sort of arcade style, which is a little less sinister, but Where's the fun in that? So yes, if you want to grab those accessories from Super Action Stuff, I'll put the link down in the description below, and the Halloween kids look good holding them. And so like I said, I was gonna keep this rather short, and short I shall, but one more thing to point out is that Negatoys has you know, made it fun in the sense of if it is Halloween and you have a black light as I do here, yes, these are black light activated. And as you can clearly see, I do have, it's a smaller black light, but as you get close up, perhaps you wanna go to Spencer's Gifts and get one of those large deluxe black lights. But yes, if you have a display for Halloween, you can see what activates, mostly on the masks, sometimes on the smocks themselves. But like I said, these are a lot of fun. Highly recommend them. You've heard my thoughts. Tell me yours down in the comments. I'll leave you guys with that. As always, yada yada. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon. Adios.